It's so bright out here. Well, our future's so bright, you gotta <laughs> wear shades. We're here in Albuquerque. The actual house in Albuquerque, New Mexico has become a tourist attraction for fans. Oh gosh, look at this. Hey, this is day 35. We're talking about unforgiveness and offense. Speaking of offense, there's a fence right there. Springs, Arkansas. Just look at this walking trail. <laughs> Super rough in it. Let me roll. We thought we'd just do a little walk and talk with you. You know, Pastor Rick, he wrote a book called Be Real Because Fake Is Exhausting. Why did you write a book called Be Real Because Fake Is Exhausting? Great question. In that book, he said that sometimes the people who love us the most they're the ones who can hurt us the most. Yeah, because it yep. means more to us. If a stranger says something, it's like, oh, what do you know? You're a dumb stranger. Whatever. To somebody that knows you, they know me. You know me. They can hurt us because they offend us over and over and over again because they're close to us. Yeah. God knows that the closer we get to one another, the more likely we are to hurt each other because we all have problems and weaknesses. So he clearly commands us yep. to what? What to, is it? Say to, with me, To Neil. love one another. No, to forgive one another, oh, Neil! Dead gummit! But dead gummit. Clearly commands us to forgive, forgive each other. Each other. You know what? We should kick to a verse. We should. Jesus says this. So if the Son sets you free, you'll be free indeed. Now, what is this actually saying? It's saying that it's not automatic. We have to let God in. In the verse, it said, "The Son sets you free." This means Jesus does it, not us. We try to work so hard sometimes to break free from what other people said about us, or to us, or behind our backs. You're back there, Tyler. What are you saying about me? God doesn't want us to let that get roots in our life. You don't want that to dig in. So what does that lead to? Bitterness, bro! That's exactly bitterness. what it leads to. It's, it's really... It's bitterness! You make it sound cool when you say bitterness. it like that. Bitterness! What people have said about you, it may be a wound. It's actually like a sore, it's like a wound. Like a yeah. real wound, like Just it hurts. a flesh wound. Yeah, it is but a flesh but wound. a flesh wound! Come on, you pansy! God cannot stand for us to get stuck, Neil. Yeah. And, and that's and we get stuck because we can't forgive someone who hurt us. It's like an arrow dipped in poison. Oh gosh. The hurt, I know that sounds yeah. vicious. Well, unless you don't get hit with it. Miss me. <laughs> Peter, Matrix. Peter. The hurt that they said or offended us with, it cuts through our defenses, but the aftermath of unforgiveness, it's like poison. It takes a long time to kick in. That's what he meant by roots. It builds yeah. a system yep. inside. Not forgiving someone, it's like drinking poison and expecting the other person to die. When we decide to forgive somebody, we actually start growing at that point. He is so rich in kindness and grace, he purchased that freedom with the blood of his son, and he forgave our sins for it. He went all out for us. God likes us, I think. Lord, please help us to forgive the people in our life who've hurt us. We don't wanna be stuck in hurt anymore, so please give us the courage to forgive them. Holy Spirit, thank you for speaking to us right now. In Jesus' name, amen. Speaking of European, I gotta go to the bathroom. Ah. Uh, you, you bitter, you bitter, bro. My dad coming. I still love him. You look like Gandalf, and I look like Frodo right here. <laughs> All right. Yeah, ah, we lost it. <laughs> <laughs>